Ready for the final phase. The Iraqi Prime Minister has given the go-ahead. And now the task of these men is to push ISIL out of the last areas of western Anbar, specifically Al Qaim, which is the border town with Syria the group still holds. We have been encountering some sporadic attacks by ISIL, but they are weak, especially since their last defeat in Mosul, Saladin, and Helwija. The enemy is in a desperate situation right now, and hopefully, we will retake all the remaining areas from ISIL soon. Iraq's army and Anbar police, together with pro-government Sunni tribal fighters and the Hashd al-Shabi or Shia militias, are part of the offensive. We are now engaging in the offensive to retake Rawa and al Qan. We have received full military support from the Iraqi army to participate in this offensive. The tribal fighters have now become a supporting force in this offensive. We aim to help them. And after we retake these areas, we will take control of security with the help of the Iraqi forces. The campaign will also be backed by coalition air support and ground advice. The towns of Rawa and al Qaim are the last few territories ISIL still controls in Iraq. Many here feel that it won't be a long, protracted battle. But ridding ISIL of its territory in Iraq does not mean the group's threat has been eliminated. It is still capable of carrying out large-scale attacks. The announcement of the Al Qaim offensive comes at a time when Iraqi forces together with Shia militia are involved on another front, sporadic fighting with the Kurdish Peshmerga. In the aftermath of that controversial secession referendum is putting huge pressure on Erbil and the leadership here. Now, many Kurds believe that this Al Qaim offensive is an attempt to divert attention from sporadic fighting we're seeing northwest of here along the border with Iraq. And many believe Baghdad's ultimate aim is to reassert federal control over the border crossings that the Kurdistan regional government currently controls. Stephanie Decker, Al Jazeera, Erbil.